This week, Lab TV travels to an Army research lab in Natick, Massachusetts, to meet an engineer who designs and tests boots. When your feet hurt, um, everything else is miserable. And, and so we try to focus to, to not just make the soldiers happy with their footwear, but my ultimate goal is if they're not even thinking about their feet, usually that means that, that, that we did a good job because uh, they have other things to worry about aside from their feet. A soldier's boot needs to be comfortable, but it also needs to be built tough and protect the foot because feet take a lot of abuse. It's the only, obviously, only part of the body that, that repeatedly interacts with the ground with an extremely solid surface uh, over and over again all day long. The, the, the load the soldier is carrying, the environment they're walking in, uh, the speed of their walking, all of that impacts the foot. Feet are amazing. There are 26 bones in each foot, over 100 muscles, ligaments, and tendons, and 33 separate joints. They all work together to support your weight and let you run and jump. It's a lot of movement, especially when you get into the metatarsals and the long bones of the foot and how the, uh, the tendons and the ligaments extend down in the heel and around the ankle area. Um, it's a long lever arm that, where movement occurs. The, the boot really has to do a lot to support all of that and allow it to move at the same time. Mike's background is biomechanics. Biomechanics is taking the principles of, of engineering and apply them to the human body or human movement. In my case, footwear, measuring the impact forces, or the ground reaction forces, both outside and inside of a boot and how they're being realized on the foot and up the leg through the entire body. In the footwear lab, Mike uses equipment to simulate stresses on the boots before he sends them out to the soldiers for field testing. We always work to make sure that we have an item that's gonna perform before we actually field it in mass out to the soldiers because we wanna make sure that it's gonna hold up quality and performance wise. Army soldiers use different kinds of boots for different environments. Desert boots, jungle boots, even snow boots. We have hot weather footwear for wet and dry environments. We have temperate weather footwear, which is waterproof. And then we get down into our cold, wet weather footwear and then our extreme cold weather footwear. Recently, Mike was challenged to create one boot that could replace four boots. So he designed a modular boot. System of a, of a base hot weather combat boot with interior liners and exterior gaiters, cold weather over boots that could go on. And actually a soldier could deploy carrying one footwear system and really give them all the tools to exist uh, between 120 degrees always down to minus 60. It's lighter to carry just one pair of boots and it saves money too. To design new boots, Mike needs to know a lot about materials. A leather is very important. We also have uh, component textile materials, nylons, uh, cloths. Some of our items will have uh, Nomex or flame resistant material, rubber and polyurethane are some of the main components of the soling systems. The sole of the boot is very important. It cushions the foot. These are footsteps of a person walking in a pair of boots. The colors represent different levels of pressure and we can watch the person walking and actually find the spots where a soldier might feel a pressure point. So we can actually design our footwear to cut down on those pressure points for different people. We can manipulate the construction of the sole of the boot and actually improve the performance of the soldier and decrease the amount of injury they, they get in their lower legs. Mike's new soles have reduced foot and leg injuries by over 30%, and they also give the soldiers more energy. If we can make it so a soldier's not even thinking about their boots, then, then that's a victory. Um, it, it feels good to be able to hand a pair of boots to a soldier, have them try them on, and, and, uh, and smile. To find out more about footwear engineering and biomechanics, check out labtvonline.org.